Section 5.1, polynomials and the exponent properties. This should not, this should be a review. Here are your rules. I'm going to, a lot of people get messed up when I use letters, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to use x and y's. Okay, so if I have x squared times x to the third, that is basically x to the fifth. Okay. You're adding exponents. When you multiply, you add the exponents. Okay? The quotient rule. If I have x to the seventh on top and x squared on the bottom, okay? Uh, we're doing this in ninth grade right now, and I taught you the same way. Basically, what I told you, because you're not very efficient on negative exponents, so I went this route with you. Which number is bigger, 7 or 2? 7. 7, so your x's are going to stay on top. What's 7 minus 2? 5, okay? This rule has no problems until when the bottom is bigger, okay? So, for example, Mathematically speaking, this is what this means. X7 minus 2 equals X to the third. Okay? So if I were to erase this, and I switch it, okay, by using the quotient rule, it means... 2 minus 7, which is x to the negative 5. Okay? Now in math, you cannot have negative exponents. So if you remember your negative rule, this goes down to the bottom. Okay? This is the correct math way of doing it. Again, it's a lot easier if I just say this. What number is bigger, the 2 or the 7? Seven? 7. So my x's are going to be on the bottom. What's 7 minus 2? 5. Okay. Don't worry, we'll have a lot of practice with the quotient rule. The power rule is always confused with the product rule. Okay? What did I use on the product rule? 2's and 3's. Okay, this is a power rule. You're taking an exponent and you're raising it to a power. When you do this, you multiply them. 2 times 3 is 6. Please notice the difference between the power rule and the product rule. Here we are multiplying them. Here we're raising them to a power. These are the ones that everyone messes up. Okay? If you're raising to a power, you multiply. If you're just multiplying the exponents, you just add them. Okay? This one, next one, power of a product rule. People tend to get this one wrong, and I'll give you the example of why they get it wrong. I'm going to erase some stuff so I have some room. So my example here would be... 2x to the third squared. Okay? Most people will give me an answer of 2x to the sixth. That is incorrect. The power of the product rule means you have to send this 2 to everything. So, 2 times 1 is 2. Three times, 2 times 3 is 6. And what is 2 squared? Okay. Remember, you have to send the power to everything in the parentheses. And the last rule we're going to talk about today is the power of the quotient rule. If I have x squared over y to the third and I raise it to the fourth power, 
I have to multiply both the top and the bottom. So I should have x to the a y to the 12. So we're good, right? Now, since this is algebra 3, I can combine them all into one problem, and you should all be able to do it. Should be. We'll see how you do. Okay, orders of operation says I have to do the powers first. So I'm not even touching the 7a cubed. Now remember, the pod product of the power means I have to bring them to everything in here. So that becomes 2 cubed a to the 12th. I'm not sure why I'm writing a 14 down. Okay. Again, I'm going to simplify inside the parentheses first. 2 to the third power is 8. Now all I'm doing is multiplying. So 7 times 8 is 56. 8 to the 3rd times 8 to the 12th is 8 to the 15th. We use the power rule, the product rule, the power of the product rule. There's a lot of them there. How many people had that? Yeah, not as many hands as I wanted to see. So here, I'll give you another one. You can do this one, you know all your exponent rules. Okay? It's a challenge, it's a tough one. Okay, the first thing I would do is I'm just going to do the inside first. So I'm just going to do a 3a b squared 2 to the 3rd a to the 12th b to the 6th squared over 6a to the 5th b to the 7th. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Now, now I'm going to do, this is going to take a lot of smart board. Okay. Now at this point, there's many routes you can take. I'm a firm believer in simplifying first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 8 times the 3, and I'm going to get 24. I'm going to take the 8 times the A. I can't read my writing. That's A to the 12, sorry. Bad writing. A to the 13 it takes care of this, this, and then I get B to the 8 squared. On the bottom, I'm going to get 6a to the 5th, b to the 7th. Okay. At this point, I'm still going to be working inside the parentheses. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to put my little bar here. What's the 24 over 6 reduced down to? 
four on the bottom. I'm going to leave a one up here because I'm not sure what's going to remain Why on top. On the oh, I'm sorry. It's on the top. Woo! I'm going to leave the one on the bottom just because I don't know what else is going to cancel. Is this like point one? <laughs> four. Now, there's five A's on the bottom and there's 13 on the top. 13 minus 5 is 8, so I have A to the 8th on top. Okay, that takes care of that, that takes care of that. I have 8 A's on top, 7 on the bottom, that's going to leave me 1 B. So I guess I really don't need my fraction bar squared. So at this point, I have to bring the 2 into everything. So I get 4 squared a to the 16th b squared. I suppose you could leave it as 4 squared, but what is 4 squared? 16 a to the 16th b squared. That was a fun problem. Yeah, I always leave the outside. When I do everything inside the parentheses first, and at this point, where was I? At this point right here, you could have brought the two in, but I don't really want to take twenty-four squared and get these big numbers. So I always simplify first. Okay. So your homework is going to be. It used to work really nice when I could do that. You should have this worksheet already. Okay. We're not going to do all of them. I'll show you which ones we're going to do. Hopefully you have this one right. Yeah. On problems like this, let's just keep. Whoa. I'm not sure. What, I guess I can't write on these. So really, we're just going to keep your base the same. This would be 4 to the ninth power. I don't want you to figure out what 4 to the ninth is. Just leave it as that. Okay. I would like you to try to get one through, let's go with one through 24. That's not that bad, I did one for you already.